Good morning everybody. Wanted to do a quick tutorial to show you how to do offset text um, using the Fonto app on your phone or iPad. And um, it's just a quick and easy way to do this. Um, I know sometimes people get intimidated with Inkscape, so I just wanted to show you a quick tutorial how to do this. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our Fonto app. You can get this from the App Store. I'm using, like again, uh, my iPhone. Uh, you're gonna click the bottom center camera and click on plain image. We're gonna click the white square to the right of that black one. And just on this upper right hand corner, we're gonna go ahead and select use. Once you got that uh, blank canvas on your screen, just hold your finger down on the center and let go, and you'll get the little add text icon. You're gonna click on that. Um, I like to work in a center orientation, so where you see a line left, I'm gonna click on that and toggles to center. And we're just gonna go ahead and type in some text. So let's just type in something simple, like text. Um, you can change the font. Fonto does have a huge selection of fonts available for you to use and you can also upload your own fonts into Fonto. Um, that's for a totally different tutorial. Um, there's a little link there that shows you how to do it as well. But today we're just going to use one of the default um, standard fonts available through Fonto. We're just going to use this Anton because it's a nice clean um, and smooth font. Go ahead and select done. And so there's our text. So in order to change and get that outline offset look to your text, we're gonna click on style and we're gonna click on stroke. Now you're gonna go towards the bottom where you see alpha and you're gonna take that all the way to the right. And you can already see there's an outline around your text. Now we wanna adjust the width on that. So as you increase and slide to the right, of course it gets bigger, slide to the left, it gets smaller. So I usually go around a 10 or 11, depending on what font you're using. Uh, 10 looks pretty good for this um, font that we're using right now. So we're gonna go ahead and select done. Just clicking on that text again takes that menu away. And we're gonna go ahead on the bottom right hand corner, click on that save button. And I always like to save it as a PNG image. You can do either or save image or save as PNG. I like to do the PNG. Because we don't wanna look at that ad. Like I said, it's a free app, so you always have to watch some ads to pay their bills. We're gonna open up this Cricut Design space on our phone. And now that they've reintroduced the upload function, um, makes this a lot easier. So we're gonna go to upload. We're going to select from our camera roll. And there's our text. And so just with anything else, anytime you're uploading into Design Space an image, you do need to clean it up. So we're gonna click on this outside white space that is around the text. And that will automatically go ahead and change that out into uh, transparent background. So you can see on the upper right hand corner you can see it's just a big black solid shape um, because we have the red in the middle and we can't see that. We're gonna have to go ahead and erase it right now so that we can upload it into Design Space. So if you just click on the red areas it will erase that out for you. And let's just finish that up. So now you can see the upper right hand corner you get that preview and it looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and select next. And I always like to hit smooth um, when uploading something like this, depending on the font, some are smoother than others, but I always like to hit smooth and hit next. And we do wanna upload that as a cut image and the image name, we're gonna change that to text and go ahead and hit done. And now it may not always pop up there. Sometimes you have to close and then select upload again. And there is our text. We're gonna go ahead and insert that. And let's go ahead and resize that really quick because it's really big. So we're just gonna click our edit tab here and just change that to eight inches. And there we go. Close that tab out. So now in order to get the colored text in the center, what we want to do is we're going to click our actions tab there and scroll all the way to the end. We want to duplicate that. So once you duplicate that, we're going to go ahead and hit hide contour. And you just want to hit on the outside line of that offset. 
and we want to keep the center uh, letters intact. So go ahead and hit that hide contour again and now you can see now you have the center text and the outline text. We're going to go ahead and close out that action tab and go to our layers tab and here again you can see you have your text offset outline and you have the center text. So we're going to change the color of that just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to go ahead and change that to red and you can see now your inside letters are in red and you got your offset on black so I'm gonna go ahead you can go ahead and make it if you want to resize that make sure you select all on there and be sure to go back to your actions and group that so that way when you resize it resizes together and we'll close that tab out and you can go to make it and you will see now you have your outside or your outline of your text and your center letters of your text. I hope this was um, easy to follow and can help some of you do that quick offset text. Um, and happy crafting. Thanks.